Hey, I'm Alec. I work for Dold Hub, and I'm here to help you get started making your first pull request for one of our Dold Hub bounties. If you don't know what a bounty is already, it's a way for you to get paid for helping us build a database using Dold. The prize money is about $10,000, and we split it among the participants with whoever contributes the most data getting the most of that money. If you go to doldhub.com slash bounties or click on the bounties link at the top of the page, you can see a list of all the ongoing bounties we have. The one running right now is called U.S. Housing Prices. We're trying to get a picture of the U.S. housing market by collecting as many sales records as we can. Let's click the link and see what data we have already. When we click the link, we get presented with the About page, which gives us some basic information about the different fields, the schema. If we want to look at the table directly and see what rows our bounty participants have already entered, we go to the left side of the page and click the play button. On the right, you see the rows that have already been entered. And if we keep, if we keep scrolling, we get more rows. On the left side of the page, we see the columns with the primary keys bolded. Suppose that you want to make your own changes. In order to do that, you first have to create a copy of the database. This will be your copy, and it's called a fork. Once you create a fork, you modify that fork and then make a pull request to this database. Let's start by making a fork so we can see how this process goes. I'm Friendly Neighbor, that's my account. Let's click Confirm, and let's wait for this to load. With that loaded, we can take a look at our copy that we've made. Everything should be exactly the same. We see the same columns. We even see the same rows. But there's one difference, which is that we can edit the database directly because this one is ours. And you can tell when you look at top, in the top left corner of the screen and you see the username instead of Dold Hub. So let's make an edit to the database. So we click the pencil. I already happen to have downloaded a file that contains the data that I want to upload. I got it from the property sales data from Milwaukee, which I can show you here. I downloaded a CSV file of all of these property sales. I'm going to go to File Upload, close the preview that we can edit directly, but we're not going to be editing this table directly. And now I'm going to add a file. Hit next. And at the bottom, we get a preview of all of our changes. Any new rows appear in green. We can see that we've added all new rows. Then we click next. Make a commit message. Excellent. We've created a new branch called import 16 dot 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 12. So while we could merge this pull request with our master branch, what we want to do is make a pull request to the Dolt Hub master branch. Let's go back to the bounties page. Go to pull requests and create a new one. Go from our branch that we just created to the Dold Hub master branch and add our information. Once we have a title and a description, all we do is click create pull request and that's it. You've created your first pull request on Dold Hub for one of our bounties.